new Kenny Brown GT4 suspension is easy to install and people can actually do it in stages and steps if they want. Step one would be the, the foundation, the, the power foundation, which is the chassis. You know, from racing we learned that a stiff chassis means great handling. So part of the chassis package would be the two-point strut tire brace, which is a very easy bolt-on. We have a two-point strut tire brace. Now Roy already has a strut tire brace installed on the car, but this is what the Katie Brown strut tire brace looks like. Very simple design, straightforward, strong. It bolts right to the strut mounts, no hardware needed. It's maybe a 15-minute project. It really makes a big difference. Uh, two-point lower chassis brace, which fortifies the K-member and helps support the loads of, of cornering. We have a two-point lower chassis brace. The two-point lower chassis brace helps strengthen between the two control arms and bolts into place. And then the jacking rails and matrix, which have been uh, the, the core of the Kenny Brown chassis for, uh, uh, system for, wow, the last 25 years, actually. Because every car is different, we actually make the matrix brakes too long, so it's a trim to fit, so it's a perfect fit on every car. The matrix brace is, the Kenny Brown matrix brace is a very unique piece. It's something I developed uh, probably about 20 years ago uh, that's been on every Kenny Brown Mustang since. And what it is, it's just uh, some, uh, it's a series of, again, triangles. Now what this does is like putting a full frame under a unibody car. The difference in structure rigidity is uh, significant. Uh, we've had people say it takes away all their squeaks and rattles and actually improves ride quality. The Kenny Brown front lower control arm module is uh, I'm really happy with. Uh, it's, it, it takes the geometry that we've used historically in the front to a new level uh, just simply because the control arms are parallel uh, to center line, which means I'm able to get all the geometry improvements just in the control arm module. We don't need a K member like I've used in previous uh, versions to get the geometry we're looking for. You know, the Kenny Brown lower control arms come in, in, in two basic flavors. One is a track sport, which would have heim joints at both ends, which gives you the best, uh, best axle movement and the best reaction. Uh, but for the people that uh, still want to drive their cars around town, we have the, the street sport, which only has rod ends at one end, but has urethane bushings at the other. Uh, but it's also another unique factor is we, we undercut the urethane bushings so they actually can rotate a little bit. Uh, so it's sort of trying to emulate the, the uh, rod end on the, on the axle end that have, has the urethane bushing. Uh, nobody else does this. This is just something unique that I've discovered over the years that just makes the rear axle react better. The anti-squat traction brackets that uh, are on the GT4 suspension uh, only have one lower hole. Uh, I know there's some, uh, some traction brackets out there that have multiple holes. Well, the reason there's only one hole is it is specifically engineered and designed around the geometry. Upper control arm, lower control arm are specific in uh, where they mount. And, uh, you know, it's, it's for, the, for the customer, it's just a matter of they don't have to guess where to put things. They just bolt it on and go. Something else that's unique is the upper control arm module I take. It's actually two inches longer than factory because the factory upper control arm is pretty short. The longer the control arms, the less the geometry movement is uh, during uh, different uh, track driving functions or even street driving functions. The other unique thing about the rear suspension is what I call the, uh, the Kenny Brown uh, Roll Center Relocation Kit. In uh, a Mustang or any live axle car with a panner bar, wherever the panner bar crosses the center line of the car, that is the roll center. What I've done with the re uh, roll center relocation kit is I actually move the panner bar from the center of the axle to the very bottom of the differential. Uh, that's about a four inch difference in roll center height. Again, it, it, by bringing the rear roll center down, the front roll center up, the car is much flatter in turns and actually we either use no rear sway bar or a small rear sway bar just simply because we've reduced the amount of body roll. The function of the GT4 suspension is, is basically superior braking, superior turning, and superior traction. So what does it do for you? It puts the best suspension available under your Mustang.